So I'm gonna throw together a Heinz 57 mini bike and I'm gonna use parts left over from quite a few of the mini bike builds that I've did over the last couple years. So I'm gonna use the block from the $100 Predator build. So this thing has a stock cam, it has a polished stock rod, then it has the governor deleted, the governor wheels removed. So then I'm using the ghost flywheel and the 6,000 RPM coil off of this bike, because I replaced the ghost flywheel with a billet flywheel. So I think this flywheel ought to work out pretty good and coil, even though it's limited at 6,000 RPM, the engine's got a stock rod. Then I'm gonna use a Tillerson 212 head, Hemi head, off of this bike. Then I added some 22 pound springs because I used the springs that came on the head on something else. So I think this head should work out pretty well. Then of course you got the Tillerson push rods and rocker arms. And then I'm gonna use the carb off of the Coleman B200. I replaced the stock carb with the VM22 on this bike. Then I'm gonna use the stock Predator 212 exhaust. So I'm gonna put all these parts together into one bike and then we'll see how it runs. Throw this Tillerson head on here. Torque his head down. I mean, I think this thing will be okay with the 22 pound springs. I mean, they're a little lighter than the springs that came stock, but it'll be okay because of the 6,000 RPM flywheel. So it's not gonna rub that hard anyway. Use the Tillerson 212 push rods. Rocker arms. So I think I'll set the valve lash at three since we're running a stock Predator cam in here. Valve cover. So I'll throw this 196 B200 carb on here and it still has the stock EPA jets in it. Coleman carb. Another gasket. Fuel line. So the throttle linkage will be easy enough on this bike because I already had a stock style carb on here. We don't have a governor hooked up. So I made up this rod. And it goes from the throttle to the arm here. So that rod usually works out pretty good then you bypass the rod that normally goes from the throttle to under the tank to the governor arm. Throw on this Predator air box. So the Ghost flywheel, I already have torque to 54 foot pounds. And then I have the coil gap, the 6,000 RPM coil gapped at 30. I think this Ghost flywheel will work pretty good on here. I mean, it has a clone taper and this is a standard Predator crank, but I think it's close enough. I guess we'll find out. Then I have the 49cc recoil. I think that's pretty much it. Let me lower it off the stand here and then I'll throw the Predator exhaust on here. Throw this high flow Predator exhaust on here. And I noticed another thing, I'm missing a couple bolts off the side cover. Eh, it's only bolts. I guess that'll be less weight to pull around on the bike. Maybe it'll make the bike faster. All right, that pretty much does it. Let me fire this thing up and see how it runs or if it even starts. So I'm running a 75 tooth rear sprocket on this off a of Megamoto 80 and then a 12 tooth max torque. So that ought to make for a hill climbing gear ratio. So let's see, fuel on and the choke on. Let's see if it fires up. Got the Heinz 57 mini bike together. It seems like it's got a lot of power. It seems like it runs pretty good. I don't think it's gonna have much top speed because it has a 75 rear sprocket and I think a 12 on the clutch. So now I'll take it out for a zero to 30 in top speed and we'll see what it does. Oh man, those things got a lot of low end.
It's not gonna have much top speed, but it's sure quick with the 75 reverse sprocket. And it hasn't even hit the rev limiter yet. 6,000 RPM rev limiter. All right, let me set up this draggy real quick. And we'll see what this thing does from zero to 30. I think it'll be pretty quick. Zero to 30, Heinz 57 engine on the CC100X. A 4.73, it's actually pretty quick. All right, let me see what it does for top speed. I know it's not gonna have much top speed. It gets up to its max speed really quick. I think we're pretty much maxed out right now. Let me run in here and swap the gear ratio real quick. So the bike did 4.730 to 30, so it's pretty darn quick. And then a 37.22 top speed. So it maxes out really quick with a 6.25 ratio. So I think I'll throw on this 18 tooth clutch and it'll go from a 6.25 ratio to a 4.16. So I think that'll give it some pretty good top speed. So you got the 18 tooth max torque and then the 12. Man, what a big difference. Throw the 18 on here for a 4.16 ratio. I might have to add some chain to this. I'm not sure, we'll see. Yep, we just don't have enough. So I got the 18 tooth clutch on there. Went from 6.25 ratio to 4.16. So that ought to make a big difference for top speed. I'm not sure how much it'll lose from zero to 30, but I guess we'll find out. Well, this thing's still pretty quick. Even with the 18 tooth clutch. You can definitely tell a difference. It's slower, but it's surprisingly still fairly quick. Let me see how much it slows down here from zero to 30 with the 18 tooth clutch, a 4.16 ratio. I mean, that's quite a jump from 6.25 to 4.16. So we dropped a couple seconds, a 6.18. Let me do that again real quick just to make sure. But you can tell it's definitely gonna have more top speed. We'll definitely beat up on 37.22. Actually, it's still not too bad though in the sixes. Yeah, this thing's gonna have some top speed. Pretty decent. A 6.09, so it got a little bit quicker. So now let me see what it does for top speed. See if we can beat 
doesn't run too bad. Make sure we're still good to go. I mean, not bad for just a uh, an assortment of parts. So 48.98 so far. I think this tall gear ratio keeps it from hitting that rev limiter. And then, it, well then of course the stock pipe and the carb. But it definitely doesn't turn 6,000 RPM because I haven't hit the rev limiter yet. But it's still pretty fast actually. So the bike gained around 12 miles an hour just by swapping out the clutch. So with the 12 tooth, we did 4.73, 0 to 30, and then 37.22. Then I added the 18 tooth, which brought it down to a 4.16 ratio, and it lost a couple seconds from 0 to 30, and then gained 12 miles an hour, 49.77. So not a bad bike for just an assortment of parts lying around here, and I finally got to use that Ghost 6,000 RPM coil.